Real Animals Fishing Show is presented by Yellowfin Yachts. Today, Billy and I are back. We're in Sarasota, Florida. Our good friend, Captain Jeff Page, he's on the fish. We're going fishing. Whatever you do, don't touch that dial. It's going to be off the hook. We'll see what we can do here in Sarasota Bay. It's a December morning, tides low as you see. Got exposed grass over here. Mike's throwing a suspending bait, Billy's throwing a jig. Bouncing the bottom, it's something he likes to do. And uh, we'll see what we can put together. Oh, there uh -oh. it is, get him, Jeffro. What you got? I'm calling Jack. Yeah, that's what I had on that edge right A jack and oh, ladyfish. Oh, no, no. Oh. They spit it and come back and get it again? Believe me, I'm trying to let him get it. El poopy fish. <laughs> Holy leaping lizard. Mike's got a lady fish. Yep, I knew it was coming too. Yeah, oh yeah, you threw in my I did. sweet spot. Well. Don't worry, we ain't staying long, boys. Dude, there's none of this Paul Brown left. He inhaled it, huh? Dude. <laughs> Look. Good gravy, bro. Good, good luck that, getting that back. Yeah, you can't even see the bait. Oh, we'll get it back. You know what I call that? Took, it down, took it down to the crushers. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, there he is. Got him. All right. Who you got? I don't flounder? Know. That's acting like a flounder. Stick right. him one more time, Billy. Right, he's good. Stick him. He's good, bro. Okay. I'm calling flounder. I'm saying you're you right. right. Holy smokes, right. dude. That is a good, good flounder. What do you all call those in Carolina, Billy? Doormat. Oh, that's right. He's he's not quite a doormat status, but he's approaching it. That's a nice I tell you, what, that's a good that's a good flounder for Florida, though. I tell you that. That's a good flounder. Trivia: anywhere. What is in, in the uh, you know what species of flounder is that? That's a summer flounder. Southern. Southern. You were That's close, a right-handed flounder. Huh? That's a right-handed flounder. Let me see why. Because his, his eyes are on the right-hand side. And you've seen him down there? Yeah, on the left-handed flounder. Oh, okay. <laughs> we were just talking about there ain't no trout nowhere. How about it? Have you looked over at the sheep head sign? You're not telling Jeff Page how to fish trout in Sarasota Bay, are you, Billy? All right, I'm going fast. I ain't liking this already. Excuse number one. <laughs> <laughs> See that white buoy? That's a canal that goes into that blue awning. We're gonna hit that canal mouth, then we're out of here. We're just gonna be fishing edges of bars. And then what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go out to that edge there and we'll lift up and go. Dude, there ain't any big trout in the bay yet. We're just gonna fish this side of it, the mouth of it, and we're out of here. Oh, nice, what you got? Sure's out. Know. I don't know. Blue or a snook? Blue. Stick him. Got him. All right. Oh, he Almost. is not happy, bro. Got another good blue, huh? Oh, that caught one. me. That's a blue fish. That's, That's a blue fish. Blue, yeah. Get him, Jeff. Get him. I wonder why Sarasota seems to get more of those than we get up in the bay. Uh, closer to the Gulf. <laughs> Here you go, Jeff. Come on. While you're resting. You, how come he always does this to me? Because I love you. I got on these white pants on when I'm dirty. The trick Thanks, is Jeff. to be able to fish these and not get them dirty. That's it. All right, I'm going to throw a plug. So, Billy, tell me how you used to do it in Carolina. We used to own the bluefish. Yeah. Just, we'd just ride till we did it. We'd ride till we saw the birds diving because right. they, were, they were deeper, you know, and take a Hopkins jig and throw out there. You'd go real Ooh. quick. What kind of jig? A Hopkins. A little Carolina 70. Mm -hmm. special. Yes, sir. Hey, every one of them. Oh, I got him, got him. Fish yeah. on. Every one of them whites is going to have fish in it. Oh. Boy, that's a, not a nice one. That's a real good one. one. Nice, Bill. There he is. Is that on the PB? Yes, sir. No, no, no. It's on the LJ. Uh, LJ. On yeah. the little John XL. 
coming under you, Michael. Come on, it's all you, kiddo. Nice blues. Ain't nothing wrong right. with these bluefish, pal. Dude, there's nothing wrong with bluefish. No, dude, they are just powerful. Dude, that's a good bluefish. I got a seven and a half pounder yesterday. That's yeah. only a three, four. That's crazy. If I don't get them on plug, I'm going back to jig, but I think I can get them to eat the plug. I think you can. I like the white. See, I find that these, uh, these blues like that bait moved a little faster, too. Oh, come on, open up. You want to be careful with these guys because they will bite you. Open your mouth. Man, It'll look at that. He will not to let go. To bite Billy Nobles. <laughs> come on. Man, there. Billy bite him back. It's probably the I, case. I will. I'll bite him right back. There we go. Closed captioning brought to you by Gator Ford. What we did, guys, we came out this morning and we started on the other side of the bay. We really didn't, we got a couple of lady fish over there, not a whole lot to write home about. Ran to the other side of the bay, little uh, sand holes off this drop off, some nice decent sized bluefish in there. Um, been getting them on on these jigs, on the uh, on the Little John by Mirror Lure. Jeffrey put on a uh, top water to see if we could get the top water bite going. But uh, we're just kind of poking down the edge of this, see if we can get a few more. And I'm gonna get baked up. That's, some, that's the dude I was throwing right there. And he liked it a lot. We need jig, you need a jig. I'm on a jig, but All right. I'm we'll get color, rid of white. Apparently, yeah, dark. apparently white's not working. No, no, white ain't nothing. I told you dark, you asked me. I did, I know, All right, I know. just so you remember. It's my own stubbornness. stubbornness. Yep, just me being stubborn. I can't believe they won't hit a plug. My favorite color. I got blowfished. Did you get bit? You got puffered? Puffer? Yeah. Let me see. I'm gonna go darker color. Let me see. Buck two feet. Uh, it might have been a blue. Might have been a blue. Dark. It was, was very non-committal. Was it? Yeah. It was very Captain Billy. Hello. Swimming at me doing 30. <laughs> All right. Oh, go another way. Jeff, you were right though. Changing colors was the key, going back dark again. Yep. I had switched to white, thinking white, I can still get it done with white. Jeff said it's been a dark bite all week. It should stay dark. So I went to a watermelon red glitter, and as soon as I did, then I got to play along. If you don't do what the captain says, you don't get to play. Local knowledge, baby, local knowledge. Like Billy said, you want to be real careful because they got nasty. Oh, Jeffrey got a runner. Another what fish on of there? Blue. That's all that's here. Nice size fish for this coast this time of year. Good job, Jeffrey. <laughs> yeah, I like that noise, dog. Oh, you got a good runner right there, huh? You size up on you a little bit? No, they're they're all, you know, cookie cutter. Three, four pounds. Look at this chunk. Oh, a nice fish. Ooh, watch him. Watch him. You know what's really wild? You see all this sponge and red grass? This all rolls in here in the winter. It does, it's not here in the summer. People don't realize that. That none of that stuff, it actually grows out of the ground here. It rolls in out of the gulf. It's probably another big blue. What I found, you guys, is it's in the bay right now, there's mm -hmm. blues and jacks. All the other stuff hasn't really got in, in the zip code where I want it to be yet. Right. Redfish and the snooks, and definitely not the trout. You went all Yoda on him, bro. I didn't even click it. It hit the I water and he landed, ate it. You landed it on top of him. Just a trout fisherman from Sarasota. Just a trout fisherman from Sarasota. They can't catch a good trout right now. <laughs> One thing about these critters, is they take drag, they jump, and they're thick. They ain't like a ladyfish, you know. This is called the North America tuna sling. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Sarasota Bay Blue. One thing you don't do with a bluefish is put your finger right in there. <laughs> look at him, look at him. Tiptoeing down the gunnels. <laughs> Want you to do that again? Tiptoeing down the gunnels, baby. Twinkle toes. <laughs> the thing is, with, with jigs, with bluefish, is nine times out of 10, 
the jig's down the roof of his mouth and that leader has hit those razor blades. Yeah. And you don't know it till you go to lift him. Yeah. But with a plug, as long as you see that plug in his cheek and in his mouth, you can sling him. You can do the North America sling. <laughs> You're like a bass fisherman, Jeff. North American sling. Now that's a bluefish right there. There's two reasons I like to fish with Jeff Page. One, we catch a lot of fish. And two is just to see what he does next. Another blue. Another big blue. Get him, Jeff Rowe. Oh, yeah. Man. This is our bite, y'all. Let's just enjoy the bluefish. We did a bluefish show. Bluefish. Nothing wrong with bluefish, Daddy. Up. I love me some bluefish. Oh, That's man, they're awesome. Spirited fish right there. In today's Real Animals Tackle Box, Billy and I are using 7 foot 7 inch Omen and Envy medium heavy fast action spinning rods by 13 Fishing. We're using Quantum Cabo PTS 30 and Smoke 40 spinning reels with 15 pound braided line and 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. We're throwing Mirror Lure Miradines and Mirror Lure She Dog Top Water Lures along with the Strike King KVD Swim and Caffeine Shad in Watermelon Red Glitter and the Mirror Lure Little Johns and Little John XLs in Golden Bream, fished on quarter-ounce Strike King jig heads. Real Animals Tackle Box is brought to you by Quantum, the real choice for the real animals. Strike King, number one in fishing lures. 13 Fishing, make your own luck. Mirror Lure, the record setters. We can't even get an update in because Jeff keeps catching fish on topwater plugs. It's absolutely incredible. All we're doing is fishing the outside edges of these bars. Real, real low tide this morning pushes all the fish to the outside. Sarasota Bay is plumb full of these beautiful, beautiful bluefish this time of year, and Jeff is working them over. And then I, I call out the bluefish and uh, call uh, it uh, a jack. Jack. <laughs> jack. I told you there ain't no trout and reds in these fish yet. Jacks and blues. We're Got catching them. I shouldn't say we're catching him, he's catching him. Every cast, top water plug. Great morning so far, absolutely incredible. Oh no, I see it, I see it. It's a trout. It's a nice trout. Like a real nice trout. Had. Yeah. On the beam. Nice trout, bro. That one's definitely slot size. That's a nice, that's a that nice one's two upper slot. The other two I had were too. That's a mm -hmm. nice fish there. That'll pour it up. On the deeny deen deen. Just a trout fisherman from Sarasota, Sarasota Florida. He can catch I can't a trout. catch a can't... trout in Sarasota, he ain't here. <laughs> oh, grande! Oh! <laughs> Same scenario though, real slow. They're not very they're not very aggressive. Yeah, really slow right on the bottom. There he is, got him. Another oh, trail. let it go, oh, yeah, let stop. it go, let it go. Stop. Mine came off, but. The old Eat. little John worked on the bottom. Worked good. Right. That's what I did. Same, that's the same thing I did, Mike. All right, yep. all right, all right. We he's, can end it right here, y'all. He's a riddle fella. Hey, that's what there's in here. But right hey, now. that'll work. He there don't we know he's little. He doesn't know he's Isn't little at all. Said? He don't know he's little. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> Daddy O. Nice fish. Let's see. Let me grab this D hooker back here because I don't like touching those trout. We're gonna be as nice to him as we can because they're. You know, Not that hardy of a fish. I think it's one of the things that we need to learn to do. Mm -hmm. As anglers, especially here in Florida, we spend so much time on the water because we have such great weather we normally that we need to learn to take what Mother Nature's giving us yeah, and, deal with and it. not force things, you know? Yep. I head stuck him though. Yeah, but I didn't, he, didn't, he didn't eat it. Tried. No, it's not, it's not a bad trout, but we didn't catch him. As you can see, I hooked him right in the back. If you train your jig heads properly, they will find fish for you. The Strike King jig heads will. <laughs> Stuck him right in the back. Not exactly how we want to do that, but we'll take it nonetheless. Come on. Perfect. Worked its way out. You didn't even, didn't even have to touch the fish. No harm. No foul. You can see we're going Little John today. I went with a Strike King jig head because these jig heads have color. 
I don't know that the color matters on a jig head. A lot of the mirror lure jig heads are done in just lead color, which seems to work well too. I personally like the chartreuse jig heads that Strike King makes. So I put the mirror lure Little John on the Strike King jig head. This is a great jig head because it's kind of, it's not a real short shank, it's not a real long shank, but just enough so you don't get a lot of short strikes. This is a great bait. It stands up real nice if you work it nice and slow. So, the bluefish seem to like it. He's not wanting to commit. He's pulling my tail down, He's pulling my skirt. The old mirror dean. That's two I've come unbuttoned. It is, isn't it? Have you got the rubber hooks on? Yeah. That's like Mike was talking about earlier. I don't understand how the, but I mean, even snook, you know, top water plugs, hit it, run, drag, everything else, and then to it. How's that go? To it. Wait. What do we got here? What, what do we got here? Whack a mole. A whack a mole. Pinfish. Pinfish. That's, That's what you had while ago no, there, Jeff. That's not a pinfish either. That's a grizzant. Good. Mm hmm. Do you hear it? A pig. A little pig fish. Look, there's why there's a few trout here. Look, you guys. See that little? Oh, that little fry. See the fry bait? Right there, boop. Gotta be a food source. Gotta be something there for them to eat or they're not gonna be hanging out. Kind of like Captain Mike. <laughs> a decent little trout. He may be skillet size. Maybe not. Breakfast. Camp me. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, do me a favor, folks. If you're going out trout fishing or catching trout, invest in a, you can even make your own little D hooker, just so you don't have to handle these guys. They're too, they're too special, too precious. So try not to handle them if at all possible. I've been a bonehead and forgot the thing in time, and you have to grab them when you do that. But if at all possible, try not to handle those trout. Like I say, they are just, they're just too, too valuable. Hey gang, this week's tip of the week is all about the new Smoke Inshore series of reels from Quantum. This has an aluminum body, sealed ceramic drag, 2.0 salt guard corrosion protection. It was designed specifically for the riggers of saltwater fishing. There's four sizes in it, so there's a size for almost all of your inshore and nearshore applications. It's super light, super durable, does a great, great job. I like it on the tournament side where I'm throwing artificials all day long because it's so light. You know, the Cabo, very indestructible, hard to beat for an inshore reel, no doubt about it. But it's a little heavier than this reel. I find this to be a little lighter and just as durable. Nine plus one ball bearings, super smooth, titanium bale. It is built for what we do out here every single day. If you're looking for a reel, to last you a very long time. These are holding up great for us, and we fish almost every day. If you're fishing just weekends, buy one of these smoke reels. It'll last you a long, long time. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Check out the Smoke Inshore Series of Reels from Quantum today. All right, we're down here on Sarasota Bay. Just been kind of working down these outside edges of these bars. The bite's kind of slowed down a bit, but we're just taking the jigs and uh, the mirrodine, just kind of bouncing along the bottom, working it slow, picking up a few trout and all. So we're just kind of putzing along, see what we can do. Mike's got a little hand going. Yeah, he does. Let's see if we can get in there with him. Swimming at me. What you got there? Another little trout. Out. Tree out. Little trout, little trout, little trout. Little guy. A little weird, you know, we just caught, just caught a keeper. And the very next cast, catch this guy. Usually fish of like size hang together, but this flat here has had a lot of different stuff on it. Bluefish, and we've seen some flounder shooting out of the holes, and then some trout, different sizes. We've seen some big ones, some little ones. Very interesting. Again, this time of year, very transitional. January, February, usually a little more of the fish get a little more concentrated. Air temps, water temps, a little more consistent. Right now we got air temps and water temps kind of all over the place. We have a little bit of a cold front, then it warms up. Fish are just kind of transitioning into their permanent winter areas. So it makes things a little more difficult.
Guys, hope you enjoyed this week's episode as much as we enjoy bringing it to you. I'd like to give a special thanks to our good friend, Captain Jeffrey Page. Just a little trout fisherman from Sarasota Bay, right? <laughs> give me some. Well done, as always. If you're coming anywhere near Central Florida, Sarasota, this is the guy you want to fish with. One of our favorites, year in and year out, always puts us on the fish. He'll do the same for you. 1-866-GAMEFISH. We'll get you hooked up. You can go to the website, realanimalsfishingteam.com. <laughs> Remember, you can follow Billy and I on Facebook at Facebook slash Real Animals. And until next week, do yourself a favor and take a kid fishing. Good job, yeah. Turn around to you when you tell me. Oh, you're doing? I'm going to open the show. All right, and then we'll, we'll okay, sure. I got a you're sense gonna of humor. Like you're going to like it. You ain't going to need big man. Did you hear what he said? Right. He said, yeah, I got a sense of humor. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, now, Jeff, give me whatever the heck you want. <laughs> One more time. I can let's, do that. Let's make it so it's less than an right, hour long. All right, all right. All right, I will. Turn around. <laughs> oh, turn around. Oh, this is great. This is it. So, so wait, wait. So the stars don't get any face time. I like no, that. we're all going to turn around to you. Okay, he's got a plan. We got a new director. Tell me when. Anytime. Hey guys, Captain Jeff Page here with The Real Animals. We're fishing Sarasota Bay. It's a cold December morning. Don't touch that dial, we're gonna catch some fish. I like it.